Hello everybody and welcome back to Fiend Folio. It has been so, so long and such a long wait for Fiend Folio to come to repentance, but it's finally here. For those of you that don't know what it is already, this was an absolutely massive mod that came out for Afterbirth Plus that adds literally hundreds of new enemies thousands and thousands of new rooms and it is just a huge mod that adds so much content to the game and it is back bigger than ever for repentance and we're gonna jump in we're carrying on with our old save file the one that we've been using prior to the mod lock and we are gonna jump in and give this a go i'm really excited to jump in i have jumped in just once before to make sure uh, everything was working okay um but yeah we're gonna jump in and try this out there's gonna be a lot of new stuff to see i will say from what I remember from Fiend Folio before, it is significantly harder than the base game of Isaac. So just be prepared for some difficulty. We're already seeing some new enemies here. Ooh, this is cool. So these guys kind of lob ash at us, but the ash doesn't seem to get lit unless a fire source is available. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I really like that. For those of you wondering as well about the mod lock, the mod lock will continue alongside the Fiend Folio uploads. Whoa! Whoa! That was awesome. And of course, we got all the Fiend Folio rocks. What the hell are these? Whoa, it like blew up. They're like little, they're like little fart cages. <laughs> these, these guys are like little bits of coal. But yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot and a lot and a lot of new enemies. If you're wondering as well about what my mod setup is, I have a, um, I have a specific collection created on Steam for my Fiend Folio Plus playthrough. Please go and take a little look at it. And it basically, it's Fiend Folio, along with a few of the classic mods. There's been a few removed, mainly to just save on resources, because I basically expected that Fiend Folio would add some lag, so I wanted to reduce it in every other account that I could. But some of the content mods have stuck around, such as Repentance Plus, as you could probably saw at the start. This is a relatively hard room here. Uh, so we are still going to see some other rooms from other mods as well. Um, but a lot of it's going to be Fiend Folio. But you will see as well, we'll also see quite a lot of vanilla enemies and rooms too it's mixed in it's all just a a nice collaboration of the of the fiend folio stuff as well as the vanilla game stuff and a lot of the fiend folio rooms include fiend folio enemies and vanilla game enemies as well so it is an overhaul to the game really but we'll still be seeing other stuff as well do not steal my d6 charges i will be very mad good good not a bad um thing to grab right off the bat here I know it doesn't really matter for the diagonal shooting all too much, but it's diagonal shooting can be useful. Okay, so Candle Guy. So it seems the Burning Basement, they've really leaned into the idea of fire, uh, which is obviously kind of how the floor already plays out, but more so than, than you'd think. There's um, some interesting enemies that kind of work together and have some intricacies. Um, but for the uh, question of the day today, I'm just simply going to ask, are you guys excited for Fiend Folio? Are you playing it? Um, I'd be interested to know which ones which ones of you guys are uh, out there playing a bit of Fiend Folia right now. That is a new pill. It's an experimental pill with the tears up. I'm very happy with that. Um, so I'm not saying that I'm going to end up living for super long this episode. We'll try our best, but we, it, we're basically at the whim of the game. If we get any Fiend Folia bosses, um, they might provide a bit of trouble for us. We'll have to see. I remember the Fiend Folia bosses. I think there's about 10 of them. Um, or 10 new ones at least. There's like already quite a few in the game um, from the AB Plus version. So I don't know how many are in the game now. But I remember them being particularly difficult. So we're going to give them a go. But yeah, this is going to be kind of the main series for a little while. Uh, Latchkey as well going to give us our luck back and a soul heart. And you just know we have to go to the alt path. Because the alt path is sure going to have some new stuff. It most certainly is. And we really want to check it out. And see... What crazy shenanigans are going on on this floor? So already we got some new. Ooh, this guy is tricky. He's kind of like the uh, the, the little haunt ghosts, but a little more sporadic. We got a nickel there. Um, what is this thing? So first of all, I definitely want Spoonbender. Excuse me, little skitters. You could back off. So Spoonbender. We've also got some what seems to be new poops here. Oh, we we managed to actually keep farting, baby. Here, what what is this? Ate a bomb. Damn. <laughs> I needed that bomb. <laughs> you. Hey. Also, that nickel disappeared. Excuse me. But we just got Spoonbender, which I think is going to make our life a hell of a lot easier. Um, not having to aim as much, which is actually really good because we can focus more 
on the attack patterns than we do on dodging now, which is kind of nice. But if I get another bomb, I'll go back and reroll farting, baby. What's this then? Oh! What's this penny? Oh, it's like a virtue little wisp penny. Oh, that's cool. We got a little boy here. Oh, as well as some of the underground fellas. We expected some of these guys around. Oh, this is... I'm, I'm honestly, I've all, I've gone on record to say before that I wasn't the biggest Fiendfolio fan when it came out because it was just overwhelming, but so far they seem to have done a really good job of rebalancing it and I'm really excited to be playing it. Regardless, I'm, I'm very excited anyways. I think this is a, a fantastically made mod that's just like the talk of the town for Isaac Modern. It's going to reinvigorate so many um, so many people playing Isaac, so I, I, I love it. Oh, look at all these like broken couches and stuff that are down here as the rocks. I like that really cool really cool take a few guys out and we'll see i wonder if there's any new bosses for the alt floors i would imagine maybe so oh there we go here we go ghostbuster and his emissions he seems to be a kind of mimic of that enemy we found earlier on um we can destroy his minions here whoa i love the little skirt skirt sounds he's got going on we did get a bomb back here so I'm guessing I want to be killing his minions as soon as I can, really. Again, I think homing is going to be very valuable here. Kind of reminds me of the ghosts on Ash Pit. This guy doesn't seem too bad so far. He's a, he's a bit tanky, I'll definitely say that. He's got quite a lot of HP. Whoa, what is, he's, he's eating his minions. He's eating them. And now he's spewing them out. Whoa, that's so cool. That's so cool. Okay, I'm, I want to try and manage his minions because I feel like they give him his power. They're kind of where he gets a lot of his attack patterns from. So far, though, really, really interesting boss. Actually, not that crazy hard to dodge. And I think we've just about got him. There you go. Oh, what the hell? He's sucking. When he died, he started sucking and then he vanished into nothingness. Super bandage is a pretty good grab here. In fact, it allows me to go to the devil deal if I'd like to. And I very much think I would. I'll do a reroll on that as well. Unfortunately, nothing good. Farting, baby. I don't know. I'll go grab him. Why not? Why the hell not? That was a really cool boss, though. Really cool little boss. Um, I like. I kind of understand the um, the ghost theming, considering we've got like Rainmaker and stuff on this floor, and the um, the guys that pick up the buckets and stuff. I like the way there's some like flipped upside down buckets. I wonder if things like this will get EID a description descriptions eventually i don't know but fighting baby's decent he can block shots so i really like these barrels whoa they can attack each other too they can like blow each other up Some chain reactions going on there but it seems like there's also as well as visual changes to the props there's a lot more props in general which i kind of wasn't expecting as much i like that 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 spices up the gameplay a lot okay, we've got some regular old fools around here I really love the fact that we have Spoonbender on this run. And the classic Cell Hearts still showing up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, press the red button. I do not know what them guys were going to do. What is that? A, is that an alligator or a crocodile or one? Oh, whoa, it's a Wormwood too. It's a Wormwood. It's a Wormwood enemy. Oh, my. And there's a, this dude as well, whatever he's doing. He's, like, lobbing flies at me. Oh, we got the tears up. And it striked us straight back down with a tears down. Although a tears down is less than a tears up, so the tea we still do have a bit of tears up. This guy looks awesome, by the way. Look at his goofy little face. He lobbed a dude at me. We got the pipe aesthetic in the dross floor here. It's pretty cool. And then, ooh, new AI. You see, you see that corn fly there that kind of dived at us? That's not actually part of Fiendfolio. That's another mod that I have that came out just a just about a few days before Fiendfolio that essentially tweaks and changes some of the AI of some of the base game enemies. It's a really, really cool mod. I actually had it on for one of my modlock episodes by accident. Okay, we're seeming to have a lot and a lot of enemies that spawn other enemies. Gotta be careful for that. These guys seem to only reside in pits, which is nice. Another cell heart there, thank you very much. Keep my children close. But one thing, one thing that I always found um, with the AB Plus version of Fiendfolio was it was just overwhelming the amount of new enemies and stuff. So far, really not having that same experience. There seems to be a nice balance between um, new stuff and old stuff. 
So, I think Point Europe is fine. I want to see what that is back over there. It's a glass D6. And I bet, I bet this is a D6 that, do that works only in this room. Oh, no, no. Okay, we can keep it. A glass D6. Interesting. So, I'm going to guess it... Re I mean, can we drop it and get an EID description for it, maybe? Let's have a look-see, shall we? Activates the D6 effect, re-rolling all items in the room into items from the current room's item pool. Interesting. That seems very, very good. So, it's like a one-use D6, but it, it specifically re-rolls into the pool of the room that they're in as well. Which is pretty normal, to be honest. Um, but still... A one use D6 seems good to me. Colostomia shouldn't be too bad for us here. I need to uh, stop my reflexes of automatically skipping the boss intro card. Because if we get new bosses, I really want you guys to be able to see the intro cards. Because they're some of them are really cool. Ooh, I stepped right into his uh, into his poopy wake there. This guy, this guy really isn't too bad. Pointy rib makes short work of him as well. So we'll definitely take a tears up here. I was going to use it. Unfortunately, we do not have a bomb to get through there yet. But going to the regular floor, I'm just as happy. Well, there's new enemies all around. So much exploring to be done. Whoa, there's like little lemon dudes. What the hell's this guy with a hat? There's one of these again that dropped a rainbow bean. Um, when you stand near enemies, you have a chance of expelling a random fart. Oh, that's a trinket. It did say that there's added a bunch of new trinkets. Whoa, what's this guy? I kind of want to, like, leave some of the enemies about to see what they do. He's kind of like a regular worm with a bigger one underneath that fires, like, a large tier. Ooh, we got some new spiders here. Whoa, they're, like, hi little hippity hops. We got some web sacks around as well that spew out the little tiny passive spiders and some big ones as well. Yeah, them white spiders don't deal any damage. You just step on them. We got Cube Baby here. We'll give a reroll to Cube Baby. We'll give a reroll again. Uh, Samson's Chain. Do you know what? I'm going to hold off on Samson's Chain here. Whoa! <laughs> like a spy movie they came dropping in. Yeah, I'm going to hold off and try and reroll Samson's Chain here. I'm not a big fan of that. Got a little spy there. I wonder if there's any new champions or anything. We haven't really seen many champions yet, have we? I don't, I don't know if the Fiend Folio enemies themselves can be champions. I would imagine some of them can, but I think having all of them be able to be champions would probably be a bit insane. But one really cool thing with the AI mod that I mentioned is if we bomb this guy, it literally takes off his head. So you can bomb through their uh, their skull now. Oh god, that guy left a purple fire that I did not, not did not see. Also, the purple fire does not extinguish <laughs> until the room is cleared. Whoa. Oh, these dudes are so cool. These dudes are so cool. Look at them. Whoa. <laughs> you like dive into the pits. That's so awesome. That's so cool. What they have managed to do with this game is is just genius. Oh, so what's this guy? has got like a gun in his face. Whoa. Okay, okay. They shoot kind of on diagonals. I thought they'd be on only cardinal, but they can they can do whatever they like. They don't give a damn. I'm, I'm really, like, into exploring every room at the minute. I do not want to be skipping rooms at this point. I really don't. A Papa Fly, while he is a bit turd, he's better than um, Samson's Chain, in my opinion. I, Samson's Chain is good. I just don't like it. Um, we've also got this here. I didn't see that there before. But yeah, I really want to be exploring all the rooms here. And um, we've got some Lemon Heads, or Sour Heads, or what you want to call them. They kind of... Oh, God. They leave a bit of piss on the floor. Okay, we got some bee enemies. The bees were a, a bit of a theme in the last Fiend Folio version, and the bees tended to be a really hard ver uh, variety of enemies, so don't mess with the bees. But I do think homing is going to make them significantly easier, I have to admit. Okay, they do tend to like to hover over their gaps. But we got them. We got them. Are these normal enemies? No, they're not. What, what, what are these guys doing? Okay, these these guys just birth into one of those ghosts. I see. Now, I wasn't sure. I just farted the enemy away. Was that farting, baby? Or was that my bean that does something when enemies get close? Oh, we've also got a tainted treasure room back this way. That's very nice. I wonder what that'll be for. I bet it'll be for a uh, herming. I bet it'll be for Spoonbender. 
Which would be kind of an interesting grab. I like the idea of that very much, sir. As much as I do like um, Herming. Some variation on that could be kind of interesting. It's not. It's um, analog stick for D-pad. We have had D-pad before. I think D-pad's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take D-pad. We do lose the fire rate. We've got another pill there. I think these are just new pill um, visuals. They're not actually new pills. Although there might be some new pills on top of this. But D-pad is really good. D-pad is really good. Basically, we'll get a prompt above our character's head every so often. And if we press the right button at the right time, it will give us a pretty decent damage up for a short decaying time. Kind of like a, a really, really fast... Whoa, look at this guy. Whoa. Look at that dude. That's... And he, like, sucks the tears back in. Oh, this is... This is something else. Okay, so we press up, and then there you go. Look, we got three damage up for a short time. That slowly decays back to normal. These enemies are some, some of the most creative things I've ever seen. They're so cool. They're so cool. And then we got some fairy lad over here. What is this? Oh, okay. Whoa, he does, like, bouncy tears. We've got to stay, keep our distance from that guy. There you go. Tap right. I realize I don't need the damage at this point. I just want to get into the habit of doing it so I don't forget. We might get a morsel of damage for the boss as well. Okay, we're going to be doing a lot of farting. That is apparent. Our trinket plus our farting baby is going to be a lot of farty farties. So we'll definitely take that. We're already on the devil deal track. I'm going to reroll both of those. Plus one blackout. All types of hearts have a 33% chance of being converted to a blackout or black locust. I'll take that. That sounds kind of interesting. Okay. Let's com continue onward, shall we? We're on to the Dank Depths XL. I was really hoping we'd get the Dank Depths, to be honest. A little bit of a shame on the XL floor, but... Oh, they're traps. Oh, God. Those green things are traps. I did not realize that. We might die, by the way. There's a very strong possibility we die. There's a lot of new enemies here. And I am kind of being patient because I want to see what some enemies do. Ooh, what's... Oh, these are like, like that iron block things. Damn it. I only got money from those. So these guys are like little chasers. And they drop into like a rain of fire. Obviously, we know what these guys do. Although, they have some new... AI, by the looks of it there, they, um, they dropped out some extra enemies, which isn't normal. Damn it, I'm taking way too much damage right now. These Globin dudes do full heart damage as well, so I'm really taking quite a beating. Blast me, I don't want to take right now. I am very, very worried about my current state of HP, especially considering there's going to be a lot of enemies I don't understand. Ooh, hello. We'll definitely play out this machine here. We got the Godly Tomato, which is pretty decent, but I'm, I'm actually really happy with this trinket here. It seems interesting. We're going to spend all our money on this to get at least one Soul Heart. And we will get one. Get one. Shit. <laughs> we'll take our Chariot. We'll be on our way. I'm really worried now. <laughs> We're probably going to die in this room. Whoa! Whoa, there's like trash all over this room. The hell's going on? This guy's got a boot on his head. He's lobbing all sorts of crap at me. Oh my god. Look at all this trash. That's so cool. Oh my lord. <laughs> the snake guy got me. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. Ah, that was beautiful. Oh, we got these little dudes, little marshmallow fellas, little jumpy boys. He's got little children now as well. I love these little jumpers. Oh, they're a bit tricky, I'll tell you that, but they are cute as a button. Got them. Okay, let's go for um let's go for Angel Deal this time around. Wait, is all what's what does all the capacitor do again? Prevents active from charging, 20% chance to spawn a battery after clearing a room. I think that's potentially better for, for the D6, right? Like, on a six-room charge, seems good. We've got uh, some sort of wanderer around here. I, I really don't mind dying, because I get to see some of the early floor enemies again, and some of the new ones, because it's going to take us a while before we see every enemy on every floor sort of thing. Whoa, look at this lanky boy. Oh my god, look how creepy that is. 
That guy looks like he's gonna steal your bitch. Oh, he smacks. He smacks. Be careful, he smacks. God damn, that guy's got some... Got some length to him. Okay. Why, why would I walk that way? These double flies always scare me, because they split in such a unpredictable manner. Oh, a few of you are, uh, are here to stay. So these guys seem to have like a maximum jump distance, so I don't have to worry too much about them. I uh, probably want to crack open that and grab ourselves a nickel. Obviously we want to try and find our item room here. But I'm really, really liking the, the balance between vanilla enemies and vanilla content and Finfolio. It doesn't seem anywhere near as overwhelming. And also, the room design, at least in my opinion, in old Fiendfolio, was very cramped and claustrophobic. A lot of the rooms were very, very small, with very little room to maneuver, lots of rocks. That doesn't seem to be the case at all anymore. Or at least not so much. I'm, I'm really digging Fiendfolio this time around. Honestly, they've done a, an absolutely fantastic job, and this will probably end up being the mainstay series for a good while, because I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'll try and introduce other mods as we go, and see, but for now, I'm keeping it kind of light, just so we don't get any lag or anything like that. Scapula's definitely a reroll. I think Candied Heart is fantastic. I'll definitely take it. Um, do we have any which way that we could provide ourselves with a bit of damage here to grab that red heart? Unfortunately, I'm not seeing it. You killed all your flies immediately, sir. Was that really the best course of action for you? Also, one of the mo other mods that I got, the improved foes and bosses, does add um, champion, more champion variants to the um, the Sins and these guys, the ho horsemen. But both the horsemen and the Sins have more champions. In fact, the Sins didn't have any champions before. The Sins got completely reworked. Like Lust is like completely different now. Lust like uses pills and stuff. It's really cool. Okay, you need to stop with all the. Um, all the, the, the flies you're spawning. Because it's it's getting a little old right now. Okay, so is that a change to his AI? Or just like, I don't know. He, he never used to damage his flies when he zoomed through them. But now he does. That's a good change. Unless that's not a change and I'm just dull. And it's always done that. And I've just never noticed. We will get, obviously, a cube of meat here. Not too interested in that. But we're going down to the basement or the cellar. Or whatever we end up getting. Basement 2. Okay. We got um, a new flyboy here that dived headfirst into that ship. And it seems that they're doing that again. Okay, so they they are specifically... Oh, he like pewed out little rainbows. They specifically hunt down poops and um, slam down in them to create a sort of radial attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just... Where, where did three dimes come from? This is a pretty hectic room. There's a lot going on here. I think, honestly, the poop guys we can leave to last. Was that, like, a dime poop? Because, like, you can see the grey, sort of the grey um, remains on the floor there. Okay, so it seems these guys are all out of poopies. And they, they are just going to take their leave. They eat their shit, and they're on the way. They munch down, and they outy. Here we get Gimpy. Definitely take Gimpy. And then... Hello. Um, I would like a blood bag, but right now, a bit risky to play that. Would have been nice if that um, rainbow poop would have stuck around for us. Okay, these these things are interesting. They're like little spewers. That, there you go, look. You, they like kind of pew blood out. We got a, a bag of blood here. Oh, that pewed out some red hearts. That's really nice for us, actually, um, because we can now just make sure they actually stay there. They do. Um, we can actually go over this way. And uh, play this a little bit and then get some get some one minute. Apologies, that's a cough there. Get some stats from Candied Heart. Ooh, and get some of that as well going on. Beautiful. Was not expecting the free soul heart from Gimpy. But I will take it ever so graciously. I love the fact as well, like all the rooms are named. You can see at the very bottom of my screen, it tells us the name of each room. You can see which ones are Edmund's rooms. <laughs> Damn, that didn't quite blow this up. Beautiful. This will be the boss. Oh no, not quite. Go, little fellas. But yeah, there's definitely a, a very different dynamic to every room and combat situation with all of these new enemies, and I love it. 
But I'm, I'm very much loving the ratio of vanilla to fiend folio. I don't know if people will think the same, but for me, it's it's way, way better. It feels it feels way more on par with what I'd come to expect sort of thing. I am using a few other room mods on top of Fiend Folio, um, like uh, Rooms Galore and My Secret Rooms mods. But other than that, not too, not too much else. Right, we're going to be looking for our shop here. Whoa, 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 what the hell are these? Okay, so we got a split shot dude. He's just kind of there, and then we got this guy with a fly going around him. Okay. Okay, so these guys, pretty easy, but they do have that protective fly. Gimpy is going to be so huge for us with Candied Heart. Thank you. We'll head back on this way because we really want to go for our shop, to be honest. One thing I am noticing that I'm a bit devastated about is we haven't had a single battery drop yet. Um, which I was really hoping we'd be getting some good stuff going from that. So I might have to drop the capacitor. Because I don't think it's going to work out too well for us, to be honest. It looked like it was going to be something that would work quite well. All right, let's see if we can get some more soul hearts out of this. Or we can just get IV bag, which honestly I'll still just use. Not bad. Yeah, I'm just going to drop it. It's it's good, but it's it's not it's not for us right now, apparently. It's not going well. I realize that a 20% chance I shouldn't have expected it to give us anything. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, we got these mini dudes as well. These are like from another mod. Maybe they, they like collaborated with that person and added them. That's cool. Oh, damn, you hit me. These guys move in a very sporadic fashion. But they've got like a, a kind of a cooldown period on their movement, so they're not too hard actually. We got 33% chance to spawn a random pickup on killing a champion. That's pretty good. We've also got that. We've also got that. I, I literally took that just for the stats. Honestly, I'm going to buy a battery as well. Just to make sure we have one for our devil deal if we go to devil deal. Although I think I'm going to go angel this time around. Oh, what the hell are these guys? What on earth are these guys? They're like... Oh, I, I don't even know how to describe them. They're very strange. They move in a, in a weird fashion. We got big red boy here. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. What on earth? Holy. That boy lobbed his damn head at me. And then, then they, they then become these ones that just kind of like explode when you destroy them. Was this an XL flaw? No, it's just a really big flaw. Like a really big flaw. Damn. So we got a 33% chance to get an extra drop when killing a champion because that item we got in the shop. That's actually huge. We kill a lot of champions, so getting the extra drops is going to be nice. Good, good. We've got a few more of these things here, which can be used for combat. Nice. We'll uh, go and use IV bag a little more as well before we leave this floor, because we're clearly in the, uh, in the market for it. These little fellas who can... Seemingly just run into fires very nicely. Easy enough for us. Okay. Good to go. That was a really, really long basement. What, wasn't it? Feels like it. Right. Let's keep it going. <clears throat> Square fly HD sweep the nation. That room's called. Duplex special. And this one's called. Right. Come over here. I don't want that trinket again. God damn it. That's exactly what we're looking for. A nice little soul heart there. A lot of money as well. Back up to 30 again. I like to see that. And we head back over to our boss fight. All that red juice gone to waste. <laughs> I love just reading the, the room names. They're so funny. We'll also crack at this. Why not? Honestly, we got some extra bombs. Let's go for this. Hey, that was worth it. A holy mantle pair floor definitely floats my goat. Hell yes. Right, we've also got some red hearts in here too, which is going to give us some minor stat increases. And we got just regular old Loki this time around. He's not going to be too bad. I might even try and use my Cuba meat to no avail. 
He, this is a different room variety for him, though. As you can see, um, Pillicular Vehicular Slaughter Rounds is the room's name. <laughs> Pillicular Vehicular um, Slaughterhouse. What a name. That black, that black orb there is just stuck behind the pillar. You poor fool. Oh, for God's sake. I'm really bad at dodging these, aren't I? God, remember the days when Little Horn would just annihilate himself with a troll bomb? Those were the days. No longer. He still takes damage, but it, it used to be like one of them would kill him. <laughs> oh, we got a new item here. Uh, that's just plus one max HP. Easy enough. Fair enough. Thank you. Bit of tea. I like it. And we'll hop on down. <clears throat> item room straight off the bat. Ooh, flooded caves is going to be fun. Oh, we got one of these rooms as well. So, we only have one blue key. So, we can either get the three nickels or rocket bombs. I'm going to re-roll. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. That is pretty good. That's HP, which is obviously great. But, bosses drop a ton of red hearts too, which is pretty nice. Um, and then for the red one, we might as well just get another key back here. These rooms are pretty cool. I like these little um, these little obstacles they have. They're pretty interesting. Okay, we got some dude floating around us, which I am um, a little worried about. What the fuck is he doing? He's getting large. Okay, he spewed out a lot. And then we've got these guys that are spewing bubbles of some sort at us. They look to be explosive, so I'm going to be a little worried about that. Yeah, so we can destroy them and they'll, they'll, they'll explode. Health down. Ugh. I just got health, though. How could you? Some interesting looking geometry around as well. There were some really wacky looking things in that last room. Like, look at this thing. What the hell's this? I don't know. It got reflected there. Them guys have some new new AI by the looks of it. That guy, like, kind of spread out some shots. Yeah, they, like, spread out shots now. And just kind of hang around. They're a little bit more dangerous than they used to be. Hell. We need to kill them at a distance somewhat. Oh, and then we got those guys darting at us as well. This is the room of new AI, this. Oh, God. It's okay, it's okay. I used the iframes to get the extra keys. Holy, holy, holy. You don't want to let these guys stack up with a new AI. God damn. I think they do have less health, though, by the looks of it. They seem to die a lot quicker. I need that explosive dude to die, like, right now. Oh, and what the hell are these? Okay, so these guys are firing bubbles again. Seems that bubbles are a central theme here. Um, I don't think they do much other than damage us, to be honest. And block shots, actually. They also block shots. Good to know. Oh, they do kind of seem to seek us out somewhat. That, that one seemed to be chasing me. Okay, <clears throat> we've got some hosts here. I really do need some damage up coming our way very shortly. Our damage right now is pretty pathetic. Um, I'm going to pop that down there. I mean, it just kills you, so that's good. Come on, there you go. Good stuff for that one. I can't believe I noticed that tinted rock as well. Normally the Fiend Folio tinted rocks are really hard to see. Maybe they've improved that a little bit though. Okay, so the, these are these are like watery fat bats. They're, they're bubbling all over the place. The bubbles die in a single hit, but they kind of linger and just bounce around the room and block shots. So you've got to be a little cautious of that. I don't really know who we want to be aiming at first, I'll be honest, because the fat bats seem to be doing quite a number on the room. Like, there is an insane amount of bubbles around this room. <laughs> but we managed, to, we managed to not get hit there. That was a little scary, but we got there in the end. So far, my impressions are very, very good. I'm really liking this. Okay, so we've got regular bat and then uh, Bubbles, the fat bat. So, I don't know. With Bubbles, the fat bat, I, I, I really don't know how to combat them correctly. Do we want to immediately try and take out a barrage of Bubbles? Or do we want to try and focus on diving around them and taking out the, the sauce? Because right now, even with me trying to focus on them, they are stacking up. God, these are hard enemies. Wow, these are really rough enemies. Gotta be very careful around those fellas. Hey, a look upgrade ain't bad. Okay, you're just gonna bomb around. You don't have much health at all. Is this a sterny? It seems to be like a watery sterny. 
I really like the animation on that leg stomping attack. Okay, so basically flooded caves is a floor we want to be avoiding when possible if we're on low H HP. Because my god, um, there is some in some difficult enemies here. So we've got a stiff spray up there. What are you doing exactly? Okay, y'all. Whoa, that's so cool. Little bouncy shots. Little jumpy jumpies. Another tinted drop. Don't have a bomb for it yet, though. We've got some lily pads here. The Oh, okay. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Okay, so the lily pads kind of regenerate and let us walk over gaps for a short time. And then, like, die out. It's really cool. And then, what does this little, this little tadpole dude do? Does he do anything for us? Or is he the enemy's friend? I think he's the enemy's friend. That's so cool, though, that you can, like, walk over these. Can you, like, fall into the pit? How does that work? You kind of have to do this for science, don't I? Okay, no. While you're on top of it, it cannot disintegrate. That's very cool. Check out our shop here. Um, It's not amazing, but I will take it. I'll also take that. And I'll take a sun card for a room in which it might be useful. Like this one. I don't know what these enemies do. Whoa, no! It didn't help me at all. It just spawned... Oh, my God. Okay, so I'd say so far the only enemies I deem to be a little crazy is the anything that spawns bubbles. It kind of overwhelms the room a little bit fast. But otherwise, balance is looking good. We've also got a secret room back this way we should go check out. We can just walk right over the little lily pads. That's the cutest little thing I've ever done seen in my gosh darn life. We can crack both of these open. Oh, hello. I didn't realise you'd be uh, joining the show. A health down pill for me, thank you. The little fragments of mushroom about. We got, um, I don't know what that was actually. We just picked up a bomb. Oh, okay. It's kind of like when you pick up um, mega bombs. That was interesting. So it like picked up a bomb that has like a bigger blast radius. Cool. I like it. It's like an additional pickup. I can get behind that. Okay, you need to be bombed immediately. And I, of course, famously missed. Okay, there you go. One bomb should be enough for you. Basically, once you've got all your... Uh, all your little, little balls out there can probably deal with you. I say that as I'm not dealing with you very well. Okay, lots of hearts. We really don't have a way to get down to red health right now, so that's not super useful for us. But once we get um, a blood donation machine or whatnot, that's going to be super good. GMO corn. You are immobilized and forced to consume seven random pills. One max hearts, one damage up. Synergizes with PhD. Okay, let's just let's just gobble down. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I think we got two tears downs over the course of that. Um, so, our tears... Although we did get a damage up, maybe? Did, did we? Did we get dam Is damage up pill a thing? Anyways, down we go. That wasn't super successful. I think we got two tears downs, and our tears are looking most horrible now. Like, really, really bad. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what that means, sir. Uh, don't threaten me with your big bulbous head. I don't know what that is. Calm your passions, young lad. Calm your passions. The second run has kind of somewhat gone off the rails. I have to say we're um We're not looking so hot right now. We don't have any bombs to get through things. Oh god. Wasn't expecting that guy to fire up as many times. Ooh. Okay, so this guy's giving these guys some sort of, like, hive mind effect by the looks of it. He's, like, giving them poison attacks. So maybe if we kill him... No, I thought it was maybe if we killed him, it killed the rest. Whoa, these guys are tricky. I'm glad that we got some damage up, but... Very much not glad about the amount, current amount of uh, da uh, tears that I have. We got whatever this is. That contains some spa uh, some flies and a soul heart, which I can get behind. This is a health up now, okay. Decent. Whoa, look at that guy go. All oh, the animations are just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
And then we got, oh, this style of him as well. Oh, whoa, he like lobbed his peeper's eye at me. Calm it, young sir. Calm it. And oh, that bat is like going crazy. Look how rabid that thing looks. Holy. Hey, we did get a blood donation machine here. Let's play the hell out of this thing. Wasn't really what I was looking for, but honestly, why not take it? Speed is good. Right, we really need some stellar item rooms. Like, two or three in a row that are going to really, really be good for us. Whoa, that guy used Polyphemus and this guy used... Oh, what the hell? They have items now. They have items now. What is this? Ow. Let's open this bad boy up. Excuse me. Get over here. Range down. Clairvoyance. I don't know what clairvoyance is doing for us, but I'll take it. Okay, we got some beggars here. I think I want to play you as well, to be honest. Come on, Gimpy. You can pay out with some extra stuff, can't you? I'm taking some heavy risks here. Hmm. Not particularly worth it. Do you know what? I'm going to wait on the virus and see if I want to end up rerolling it. Look how cry that guy is. Look at the little twinkle in his eye. Oh no, I feel so bad for him. I've I've done a I've done a bad here. I've locked myself off from the from the rest of the world. He's got a little twinkle in his eye. Poor little lad. Hey, a library could I don't know. I was gonna say a library could be good. I don't know if a library's gonna be good. <clears throat> You're spewing out poopies. Okay, so you kind of like drop a tear on the one that you've created there. And it then creates a blast. That's really cool looking. Not a particular threat without that, though. Oh, we got a new book here. Summons a fiend folio helper um, to assist you in the room. Uh, book of judges while in the active room. Okay, so let's let's go with this. Um, and honestly, I really want to take the fiend book. So let's let's go uh, let's go back over this way. Let's re-roll the virus now. Oh, and we get something actually quite worth a damn. For one speed, but for two piercing. And yeah, let's take the Fiend book. It's not as good, obviously, but... <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit, I was not expecting that. I wonder if it always spawns that guy, if it's like random enemies each time. Bit of a new shop layout here. Guess I'll just grab that. I'm going to grab another charge in it, really, because I, I want to use it on the boss fight. Okay, this guy sticks around. Whoa, what's go what the hell's going on with these guys? What on earth? Oh, that's confusing. They're disobeying gravity. Somebody tell them. Oh, my lord. They are disobeying gravity. What the hell? That's so cool. Oh, I love the fact that these little dudes use items. That's so cool. Seemingly, they have a quite a wide variety of items they can use as well. That is very, very interesting. I'm going to take the Soul Heart here, I'll be honest. Golden Penny's good, but... Ooh, Wow Factor's decent. I'll take that. So now we know he lasts until the next room. Oh, hello. Dude, look at this thing. Oh no, he he was he was a one and done that guy. Yeah, there's definitely been some additions of um, enemies from other mods. Because I remember the, these guys were from Guerra's creatures, or Guerra's creatures, whatever whatever it was called. By the way, it's taking forever for us to kill these things. I might actually need to use my um, my bombs pretty pretty much all the time here because. We are slow going, otherwise. Ow. Two look up spawns a puzzle piece. 
Complete one a third of a puzzle, uh, puzzle's fortune. Spawn a prize on puzzle fortune completion. Interesting. Your favorite food. Trinity shield. Why not? Okay, and where we go, we're still really, really struggling for DPS here. We carry on. I just spilt my drink all over me. Congratulations, turtle. You're a fucking moron. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this guy mine? Is this guy with a laser beam's mine? I think he is. You see that black burny? That was really cool. Burn heart? Yes. Thank you. Whoa, look at that guy in the middle. Look at him. Oh, God. The monsters are back. The things that killed me last time. He's back for revenge. Gotta be careful around this fella. He's, he's hitting me quite a lot. I want to be using this pretty much whenever I can, to be honest. It's really cool. <laughs> so far, we've seen, I think, three of the enemies that it can spawn. But it seems seems like it's got a pretty good variety of things it can spawn. There's like an aerial attack and then comes back down. There's a slam attack. I like that a lot. I love the way these guys are animated. They're crazy difficult, but they're really cool. Huh. Run! Look at that guy's little teeth. So cool. Thank you. Okay, th these enemies were, were tough before. Let's, uh... Oh, my God. Oh, we got some little spiders as well. I really like these guys in the corners here. They look really cool. Oh, and they can pop up from any of these locations, too. Oh, and then as well, I just noticed there's, like, some latches on the wall here that are spewing out tar. Oh, and then the, the spiders can, like, jump into the tar to navigate around the room. Oh, my goodness. That is so cool. <laughs> There's some really interesting stuff in this mod. My goodness. This is going to be a lot, of, like a really, really fun playthrough, I think. It's going to be tough. There's going to be some losses. I am sure of it. But it's going to be really cool. Remember, we have Trinity Shield, by the way. We can utilize that to uh, our advantage to block some of these tiers here. Such as the ones from this guy. Okay, this guy dropped some, like, boils on the floor that explode. Okay, we don't need to destroy the boils. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, these, this is the poison things again, so let's make sure we're in position. And these guys, head spewers. Good, good. So this floor's been kind of insane for Fiend Folio content. This is basically the first vanilla room that we've seen. Which is bound to happen from time to time. There is a lot more Fiend Folio rooms than anything else. Okay, these guys are leaving, uh, like, pustules on the floor. I don't know if you can see those. And we, like, pop... We can, like, step on them to pop them. What's, what's this? This little furnace thing. Oh, maybe the furnace is doing that. It's, like, boiling the tar. Oh my god. It scares me. Child's heart would go pretty well if we had ways to access our red hearts easily, but we really don't. Especially when we're getting soul hearts so regularly like that. I like the new floor design in here, it looks really cool. Half a soul heart there, why not? Oh, it's another one of those little things that defi defies gravity. Got to be a bit careful for those. You need to stop spewing out of your head, sir. Huzzah, you jumped right into my trap. The moon card. Why not just pop that? Let's see what we get. Nothing much, unfortunately, but it was a little bit of a shortcut teleport back. So I do respect it. 
pop this in here. We got the um, Cyber Worm again, which seems to be the best one, I think. Because it's like, got infinite range, and it kind of just aims at anything from across the screen. We got a Harlot Heart here, which uh, gave us some um, chunks, whatever you want to call them. Can't remember what they're called now. Leprosy bits. These guys are really interesting. Just got to get on the cardinal direction like that. Not above or below them, should I say. And then these guys have like... Whoa, they've like captured this dude in the center. They're like latched to him. Whoa, the amount of trash are throwing at me right now. It's insane. And then we unleashed him and he died. <laughs> the amount of red hearts we have available right now for candied heart would be insane. I kind of might just get rid of some of my soul hearts to take advantage here because... We're we are kind of missing out. I realize I probably need this for the... Uh... Whoa, you got little sack friends? Hello. Steam sale? Rather nice. Got a golden poop here. D12 isn't all that good, but we will pop it right in here just to see if we can get anything. Oh, I was like, get we can get closer to the um we can get closer to the 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 uh golden poop. Herder. Obviously not realizing I'd be destroying the golden poop by doing that. Okay, I think I'm gonna purposely take okay, we got a soul heart there. That actually makes my makes my process easier here. So I'm gonna we got another soul heart there, good. And another soul heart. This is this is very good. And another one. Okay, this is this is really good actually. Really good. Okay. Now we go around and we heal up as much as we can. We heal up. We hope for as many stats as we can get. Not bad. We got a little bit of fire rate. Then we we hurt ourselves back down. To one red heart. Just so that we're, there, that we're then in a position to take more as we get them. Cool. And where we go. Bit of a weird way of going about that, but I think that worked out for the best. Right. Time to do our boss, whatever it might be. <laughs> this room's called Where's My Fucking Bike? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love it. Right. Uh, boss time, by the way, this room looks so cool. We've got Monstro 2, nothing special this time around, but we will pop our book and get this guy doing some good stuff. Giving him the old one-two. Okay, jump into all that crap, what will ya? Thank you. And what you got in store for us here? Do, do a brimstone on me. Do a brimstone on me. You know you want to. Damn it. Can't I can't bait him. It's very hard to bait now. It used to be much easier. Good, good. We got the box. Okay, so this is all the hearts I was looking for here for our stats. Not insane, but it, it's it's good. Then here we get another puzzle piece. Your favorite food will hurt. That's an interesting sentence so far. My favorite food will hurt. I'm interested to, to see what the complete sentence ends up meaning. Whoa, we got these... That bat in the center looks cool. Also, this is Curse of Conquest, and it actually does seem to be working on the Fiend Folio enemies, which is what it should be doing. Okay, this is, um, strange. I'm guessing... Yeah, <laughs> I'm guessing I'm not meant to be shooting that guy first. Why, why are these, um, skulls glowing like that? I don't know if that's, like... Oh, no, I think that's just that. That's, that's just how you look on this floor. So we always want to kill that guy first by the looks of things. What's the little skull in the corner there doing? 
Do you guys throw these or something? Do you guys are like maggot tossers. Water boy comes in. And then you stick around to help out. Thank you, friend. Oh, I remember these dudes. I remember these dudes. They're so cool looking. You walk into that fire all you want, sir. Okay. Okay. We've got some new stuff here, sir. I don't know what any of this means. Absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. I won. Apparently, I won. Didn't win that time. Okay, and then we got this guy. That did something also. That's an Emperor card, right? Give me a half soul hat. I don't really know what this guy's doing, but I'm cool with it. Okay, let's play this guy again. So let's go bomb. Let's just do bomb coin thingy again and see what happens. Don't really know how that guy works. I'm gonna kill him though. As I'm with, as am I with you. Intriguing. Sorry, burn boy. Whoa, there's all sorts of crap going on there. This guy survived the sun card as well. That screws me inside. We've also got a planetarium on this floor, wildly enough. Angelic Disc counts three to five random item effects from the Age of Room pool for 60 seconds. Shop Disc. That's really cool. I mean, we'll take the Angel Disc for now. This could be good for our boss fight. That's really cool. Whoa! Little skulky little skelly buddies. Oh my goodness. My goodness. And then we get Mercurius. I'll definitely take it. Oh, we got a puzzle piece. Um, your food will hurt your soul. And we got bird's eye. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I like that. Oh, that's a great item for us right now. Right, we don't need to bother looking in our shop for now. <clears throat> Just a regular old room. Good old Death's Copy 2. The best name of any room you could ever th think of. Yeah, these guys are going to be a little more annoying. In fact, let's pop this. Get some lasering going on. Are we a champion version this time around? He looks a different colour. Come on, Gimpy. Proc more. Ooh. Um, I think this is better than, than the Holy Mantle one to floor. That guy's so cool. That guy scares me. Oh, look at these dudes. They, like, leech out of the walls and spew stuff at me. Careful of them. They're going to spew out more. That's so cool. I love this big death's head. we got another card here by the looks of it. The implosion. Let's see what this does. Throws three fireballs at someone. Hollow minions on impact. Hollow minions disappear on room clear. Okay, let's just try it in this next room, shall we? Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty cool. They don't seem super, super valuable, but they only last for one room, so that's kind of fine. Right, go back and get our disc.
Aha, the fire destroyed you. Did not see you guys in the corner here. What the heck? We got a basically dice shard here. Glass spin down, activate spin down effect. These glass chests are interesting. One times, 1.3 times damage against bosses. It's pretty good. Glass d6 again. Let's take the, uh, well, let's take this in first. Ooh. That's so cool looking. I didn't think about the fact that this floor was there. Uh, the mother fight, so I've lost my spin down. <laughs> Big sad. Oh, I'm loving like an axe at people now. Sadly, Mercurius doesn't work on the mother door. Good if you can just walk out. I'm liking this axe that we're throwing about the place. Oh, it's so cool. You step on all that, mother. You step on all of that. You fool. We will take the Polaroid this time around, and I guess we'll just go. I'm a bit worried about this run. Like, we have very, very bad stats. But we'll see what we can do. We'll try and... As much as I want to see all the Fiend Folio stuff, we'll try and not do too many rooms on the wound. I mean, we might end up just dying. Also, I seem to still have the items from that disc. Whoopsie. Uh, I mean, to be fair, just vamoosh. Yeah, I definitely seem to still have all of the items from that disc. I thought it said for the current room. Oh, no, there you go. It was, oh, it was 60 seconds, wasn't it? It wasn't the current room. We lost them all now. That's a really, really cool consumable, though. I love the visual of when you use it, too. Let's get this guy back on you. Back on your case. Damn it, I didn't mean to pick up the key. Ooh, he's different on this floor. He's, like, bloody. Rather than watery. I want to do some easy rooms, but let's skip the harder ones right now, because I don't think we can do them. What's this? Chance to take a random pill when picking up a coin scales with luck. Oof. That could be saucy. Oopsie. I'm going to keep doing that by accident. Walking through doors. Ow. This guy's doing all sorts of shenanigans here. Whoa. The attacks this guy's putting forward. More reflected stuff. We don't really need that right now. I'm really happy with the trinket we've got anyways. Different version of this guy with a with a buddy attached this time around. Oh god. Okay. Boss time. We just get this guy. Although he's got a new fella with him. It's gonna be a slow going fight, I think. Although I will say, not as slow as I might have thought. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to take advantage of this, aren't we? I think cat food thinks all of these are bosses. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna guess. This is a new item. Activate, I, active items when used will shoot fireworks based on the amount of charges. Ooh, that's really cool. Okay, let's find a nice place to hurt the fuck out of ourselves. Which, to be honest, we can actually just like... Okay, no, it doesn't matter. Keep accidentally killing stuff. Okay, that's enough for now. Back over this way. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of stats. Is there an easier way we can hurt ourselves? There is. Come on now. Six. Seven. Eight. There you go. Back again. I like the idea of this firework item as well. Seems really cool. 
my god, there's so many hearts in here. This is obscene. There's so many soul hearts now as well. I'm really hoping I can get into a position where they just constantly hit me. That one changed direction. <laughs> right, probably one more activation of that and we're good to go. But we've we've done a lot to our stats here. We've 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 bolstered ourselves nicely. Okay. Away we go. <clears throat> I knew the cat food item would be good for something. We're up to 4.26 in our fire rate from just doing that. <laughs> Damage didn't go crazy, but... Here's the fireworks. Look at that. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, this, this run's actually got some sauce now. I realize this is a long-ass run, by the way. But for the first episode of Fiend Folio, I hope y'all are ready. Because I sure as hell am. Sure as hell am. Seeing all the games got to offer is a lot of fun here. Also, as well, if we do want to... I mean, we probably should. We can just speed through certain segments of the game. Like, if we if we find a room like this that's just, like, not got anything crazy for us, then we can just bail. We can also, like, try and seek out where the boss is first before we start doing rooms. Oh, these guys have been changed, look. From that rework mod. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay. Fight the boss. We get a buddy come in. And on top of that, we get the fireworks. So cool. Our run is actually okay now. It's not bad. Also, I love how we look right now. Our character looks incredible. There's some extra hearts. I love that cat food item. With candied heart, it's insane. Right. On to the cathedral. Some ghosty enemies here. Which seem to be not doing much for us. I'm not sure what to think of these fellas. Okay, now there's some wizards in here as well. This is a long room. Wizub, where are you? Quickly check this out. Uh, bedtime story. Inflicts all enemies with drowsy. Drowsy will slow down and eventually fall asleep. Damaging an asleep enemy uh, take double damage but wakes them up. Interesting, but not really what we need right now. That fires a lot. What on earth are these fellas? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that was cool. That was really cool. Oh my God, there was a chest and a chest and a chest. Okay, vanilla rooms, I sleep. Oh wait, this room I, uh, oh no, no, no. Okay, this room I have to do, but it's because it's a mini boss. So I don't have to do it. Wait a minute, I'll grab that soul heart real quick. <laughs> a little bit low on health here. Yeah, rooms like this, we, we say a big fat no to, although Loki did something interesting there. Same with this room here, actually. What on earth are these things? Oh, wait, no, it wasn't Loki. It's our little buddy, wherever he came from. Where did you come from, little, little fella? What's this little fly around him doing? Whoa! Hello! 
What exactly do you do? Whoa, you fire like starlight shurikens at me. Those little flies seem to make it. Oh god. Oh, you trapped me. I'm like stuck in here now. That is very cool. Oh, there's a heart there. We need to take that. Whoa. What's going on with this guy? A lot of shapes going on. Shop. Echo chamber. <laughs> Soul heart. Red heart. Thank you, shop. Echo chamber. Very, very nice. Okay, this room we can bail. This room I'm gonna bail. Holy. Oh my. How? 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 I'm confused. No, no. Oh, just snuck through there. I don't know where I got this little buddy from. This little technology fella. He just seemed to come out of nowhere. Oh, was it my Lemmageton Wisp? Might have been. Come to me, my tech... My tech pin. I love that little noise he makes as he charges up his attack. Zing! It doesn't last long. I think the bat's actually better, to be honest. The slam attack it does is, like, really, really strong. Look at those dudes doing their new attack. Fire out feathers now. Much cooler. Now what we don't have right now is a lot of bombs or anything to do big burst damage. So I'm just basically relying on our fires to get the job done. I'll be honest. But so far, so good. Come on, Isaac. Let's take you down. Take you down, Isaac, boy. Okay, see what items we get. And this floor could be interesting. I don't know if we're going to see a lot of Infolio bosses or what. Don't know why the chests are disappearing. I can't believe we don't have enough money to uh, uh, unlock that. I suppose we'd just spend it all. Technology here is pretty good though. Look at this guy. Look, new boss. New new, new uh, boss AI. He's going crazy. I y'all didn't expect that. D10, I don't think so. What the hell are these? Whoa! No, 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 no. That's a lot of spiders. No, 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 no. Okay, I don't need to be this way. Although, I do want to see what this enemy is. Whoa! Okay, okay. That's insane. Oh, it's this guy. It's this guy. I want to fight this guy. He's a new boss. Awesome. He's going to blow up. He booms. Hey, we got a chest for it as well. Oh, it's all them dudes. Whoa, you see that then? It was all them dudes that have, like, items, and then they all attach to him as they use their items. Look at that. Whoa, that's so cool. A lot of wet going on here. Look at these little guppy statues next to us. These chests are interesting. Little glass chests. Don't seem to work with pay-to-play, though. We've got some death scythe boys here, which seem a little not very fitting for this floor, but I'll, I'll, I'll let it pass. I've been trapped inside a cage. Skolex. Nice knowing you. Little frog boys. Oh, little frog boys. And then whatever this fella is. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's got ghosts on his side. This is... They, like, follow my movement exactly. There is fire everywhere. <laughs> okay. This is a tough boss. I wonder what floor he's meant to show up on, but he's rough. He's following as I, I exactly... I don't even think I technically finished the room there. Also, we got this guy on his little bicycle. 
You do you, sir. Give you one of those. Slam down at the sentry. We're taking some damage here. He is on a roll. Th these guys have some wild attack patterns. Like, how am I meant to get near this guy? He seems to be relatively weak in this state, but goddamn. That took some beating. We luckily do have some red hearts about, so let's uh, make sure we grab them if we can. We can't. This room we don't need to bother about. Unless we get hit. Okay, boss room's over here. Okay. Let's try Blue Baby. I don't know how this is going to go, to be honest, because we're not super well prepared. But we got the best fella. We got the bat. We got the bat. And we've also got Trinity Shield, too, which helps. And we're going to get another charge before we die, too, which is nice if we need a bit. But we don't. We're good to go. Let's zoom out of here. What a fantastic run to open up Fiend Folio. Well, two runs, should I say. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one for Morphine Folio.